It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Marble Beers and it's a bottle of their Built to Fall American Pale Ale coming in at 5.6% ABV. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you here. I've not reviewed a Marble beer in probably two years and I'm a big fan of their beers. I just haven't seen them around my local area lately uh, but I was in my bottle shop locally, found it thought bang let's get a marble beer done so let's get the beer out into a glass see what we get nice bit of smoke on the opening beer in the glass then oh look at the color it's a bottle conditioned beer just about to see that sediment going into the bottle so we'll leave some of that out for now show you later on in the review but what we have in our glass is a lovely very clear golden amber colored ale nice levels of carbonation small one finger white head let's get the aroma oh yeah chock full chock full of american hops then Piney, punchy, grapefruity goodness. Mixed with some nice biscuity multi flavours. Should we dive in? Cheers, everyone. Yes, yes, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Stone the Crows, what a lovely beer. Big, bold, punchy, piney, grapefruity, citrusy aroma and flavour. I like to breathe in when I'm drinking, so maximising that aroma and flavour at the same time. Oh. Drinkability is absolutely fantastic. I like the bitterness on this, to be honest. It makes me smile. Love the big, punchy, bold, juicy, fruity flavours. But I'm still a little bit old school. Still love a big, punching bitterness on the back end. And that's exactly what you get from this beer. Biscuity malty to begin with. Great drinkability, nice carbonation, orange peel, piney, grapefruity, lots of kind of pineapple flavour in there. It, there's a bit of tangerine. Oh, it's just great. It's a bit, a bit of passion fruit. It's, it's a lovely, lovely beer. And then to finish things off, from that sweetness to begin with, that lovely multi sweetness that you get, moving over to our immensely big bold bitterness on the back end makes me smile it's the perfect finish to the beard if you like it's like when it's like when a good boxer finishes the round or or it's like when when the the, the pianist finishes off with the band and it, it's just the, the 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 great finish the great finish for me in a beer especially an american pale ale is a nice crescendo of flavor and bitterness So the beers are bottle conditioned. It does remind you on the back of the bottle to uh, leave any sediment in the bottle. So if you have bought this and you've read it carefully, uh, you, you, you'll do that. But if you've bought it and you've not read the back of the bottle and you've done this with it, don't worry too much. It's a bottle conditioned beer. It's second fermentation process. It's a natural way to carbonate a beer. If you got a little bit of sediment in the beer, it, it, it just, for me, it equals vitamin B. Lots of good vitamin B goodness then, if you like. And look, it's giving the beer a little bit more, a little bit more body, a little bit more of a, a nice creamy head if you ask me. 
I don't mind the hazy beer. Some people really dislike it. Um, I know people in bars. I, I work in the beer industry now, and I know like pubs that will phone up the brewery and say, we've got a hazy barrel that won't settle. I'd be like, happy days, where are you? I'll come and drink some. But but no, they, they, they like a clear beer. Uh, do pubs, especially traditional pubs. Anyway, apart from all that, let's give this beer a rating. I think it's fantastic. Uh, Marble have not given the hops in the beer, but this this kind of reminds me of times gone by. Uh, I remember Manchester Dobber, uh, Manchester Bitter. Manchester Bitter was a great beer. I'm not sure if they brew these beers anymore. I, I, maybe they're just their staple beers and they do, but, but I remember them to be fantastic, wonderful, wonderful beers. Uh, and Built to Fail, oh sorry, Built to Fall, reminds me of, of the marble days gone by so let's hope we see more marble beer around um i like this beer enough american pale ale i would buy it over and over and over again i carry on drinking it all evening long 5.6 percent abv good drinkable sessionable beer lots of flavor nice color pardon me nice color nine out of ten it's a nine out of ten from Relo craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom and cheers